Sorry, I have a bit of a cold and from allergies, so I don't typically sound like this, just as a forewarning. Um, but okay, great. No. Oh, like this? Is that better? Oh, gracious! All right, that was really close. <clears throat> All right, well, happy Halloween. Um, and like Patrick said, I'm the social worker over at the Pat Summit Clinic. Um, I'm there five days a week. I see all of our families. Um, I provide support to the families, to the caregivers, to the patients, um, and to anyone who is really affected by dementia. Um, and so I am pretty excited to be there. Are you all able to hear me? You can't hear me still? Okay. Are we able to turn this up any? I can't get any closer. <clears throat> yeah, I was going to see if I could turn it up. I don't know if that turns it up a little bit. I think it's because I um, sound so hoarse. It's, it's turn it up on the side. Is it right here? Yeah. Oh, the numbers aren't moving. Okay, no, I don't think that's it. Is that any better? Yes. It is? Good. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> and like I said, if you all can't hear me at any point, it's just because of my voice and I might have to go grab some water. So just flag me down and let me know and I'll switch it up, okay? All right, so I'll go ahead and get started. Um, today I'm talking about self-care for the caregivers um, because that is just as important as taking care of the patients themselves. Uh-oh. Oh gosh, oh my gracious. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and start with this. Um, I thought this was a very applicable cartoon. Um, and at the bottom it says, and do you take Goldie to be your lawfully wedded primary caregiver? Because that's, you know, what we're seeing these days. We're also seeing a lot of people whose spouses have passed away or, you know, they've gotten divorced and they're getting married later on in life and they've been married for, you know, 10, 12 years, maybe seven, and then all of a sudden they're being thrust into the role of a caregiver, so. All right. So I really liked this quote from the Family Caregiver Alliance. Um, it's a difficult challenge to care for someone who is here but not here. Here physically but gone mentally and psychologically. You feel alone and in some ways you are. For many caregivers, it's as if there's a stranger in the house. So how many of you all can relate to this? Yes. So, um, and. I've heard a lot of people say this, and so I run several support groups, and in one of my support groups, it's a frontotemporal dementia support group, and one of the wives was talking about how her and her husband have been married for 55 years, and he um, has FTD, and she's like, it's like I grieved the loss of my husband, and I learned how to love this new man that he's become, um, you know, which I felt was very touching and very true, and it's hard, but, you know, like I said, she is trying to look at it from a positive perspective, and I feel like that that's um, half of it, is just looking at it from a positive perspective and trying to basically take care of yourself and like that. All right, so feelings among caregivers. How many of you all are caregivers or were caregivers or at some point? Okay, so quite a few of you. All right, so <clears throat> I listed out some feelings. Uh, what feelings do you all have while caregiving? Do any of these? Resonate with you? All of the above. All of the above. <laughs> okay, yeah. Is there anything that I don't have on here that you all feel like is important or no? The main ones that I think are probably, or at least the ones that the families talk about with me a lot, are guilt, anger, stress, frustration, feeling overwhelmed. I think.